Hi everyone, welcome to Dharma Earth's Dose of Dharma, and this is your Dose of Dharma for today. So there is this question. So Bandi, how to love oneself and accept oneself, right? So I think this is a pretty a common topic to, to talk about. Huh? So actually, uh, everybody loves themselves, but you know the manifestation, how they love themselves is different. And some of the ways may, may not be wholesome in a wholesome way, alright? So I like to quote some examples, like some people, they're very, very harsh on themselves. They almost push themselves to the brink of depression or exhaustion, yeah? because sometimes they want to be perfect, they want to be like that. But you see, the problem is not the loving themselves, the problem is the attachment to being perfect, right? But they think that, you know, that is the way to love them, to love themselves, alright? So there are many ways that people think about how to love themselves. Some people push themselves because they want something good for their lives, and they believe that this is loving themselves. But in in a way, when they do that, if they do it with attachments, then definitely, eh, they and when things... Uh, fall short of the expectations, then they will suffer. But it's not because of the love that that brings the suffering. It is the attachment to the results that brings the suffering. All right. So you can ask, you can say, oh, Bande, what about people who harm themselves? Well, I personally, I have a friend uh, who has did some uh, self harming before, and this friend. Uh, uh, told me that you know when when the pain uh, is inflicted on the flesh, uh, then it actually brings relief to the more intense suffering in the heart in the mind. So people who want to harm themselves or like do some uh, self harming and all that, actually they also have a certain kind of a love for themselves too. Why? Because they want to be free from that suffering. Right? So when they want to be free from their suffering, what does it mean? It means they're looking for relief. They're looking for some kind of, uh, I wouldn't say happiness, but a relief from the intense suffering that they might be experiencing. Okay? So, basically, everyone, uh, everyone will have, uh, uh, whether it is, uh, be manifest grossly or manifest uh, subtly, Everyone will have a kind of a self-love for themselves, but it's just the different ways that they portray it, okay? And some ways that they do it, it brings about actually more harm and suffering. Like for example, uh, for example, if they want to be perfect, and if uh, they, they are not perfect, and they can't accept that they are perfect, uh, then they start to, you know, hate themselves and all that. But even though they hate themselves, why? But it's because they want to love that expectations. They love the expectations more than they love what they are truly are. Isn't that so? Huh? So and why do they want perfection? Why do they want perfect? Because you know they they want to be happy. And why do they want to be happy? Because they want to, you know, uh, seek self happiness, isn't it? So so seeking for self happiness is also a way of uh, loving themselves, isn't that so? Hmm? So we can see it in this way. Huh? So how? Is there a healthy way to love ourselves? Of course there is. Okay, There are many, many methods and many, many therapies huh? uh, in the world. But one thing that I noticed is that, of course this, this is um, my personal opinion, but in accordance with Dharma, a lot of things, huh? a lot of things like uh, uh, when, we want, when we want to have a wholesome feeling of love for ourselves, then we have to learn it the right way, and uh, the wholesome way. Okay, the wholesome way. Yeah. So, what are what is the wholesome way? That is a love for oneself that is free from greed, hatred, delusion, and attachments and ego. All right. When when you want to love yourself, okay. Let's say you want to start on a journey to love yourself, then. We have to do some inner work because we have for this it doesn't come naturally. It does, it it comes, but the way to have 
a wholesome self love for ourselves doesn't come naturally sometimes. All right, most of the time it has to be developed intentionally. Okay, and learn how to love ourselves in a wholesome way and peaceful way, so that we may experience a state of spiritual well being. Okay, so what is it that is ob- obstructing us? From loving ourselves, basically, is the, uh, they are the attachments, especially like attachments to perfection, attachment to being somebody, someone, attachment to wanting to do this, one must be like this, must be like that. You know, if they fall short of the expectations, then they don't love themselves. Then they they find like you know some people hate themselves and all. But just think about it. If you let go of that attachment, it doesn't mean that to remain passive. It doesn't mean to you know just not to do anything in the, in life. But remember, I was I was saying that attachment. There's two types of right? no. Uh, for desire, there's there's two types of desire. Desire can be associated with wholesome wholesomeness, and desire can be associated with unwholesomeness. It can be pure or unpure desire. So how do we know whether it is unpure desire? It is when we experience disappointment, when we experience sadness, when we experience anger, when we hate ourselves, when we fall short of the expectations. All right. But a pure desire, a pure desire, a desire that does not harm you, will be one that you you really work hard for it, but if you don't get it, never mind. Uh, it's it's okay. You're okay with it, and you look for the just look for the causes. Uh, and additional causes that, that hinder you from uh, reaching your goal or look at the causes that you haven't put enough in order to produce that result or the phenomenon and just work on it. With this understanding of uh, cause and effect as the basis, as the basic attitude uh, for our life and then when we have a wholesome desire, we have a pure desire to have good results in in school. We have a wholesome desire to do our work well in order to contribute, uh, put, put value to the company, and uh, put value to the to the world, give value to the world. Then, no problem, right? <laughs> the problem always lies in the attachment, and the attachment results in disappointment, anger, and. All the, all those things. Just imagine if you don't have those things, then if you don't have attachments, then where do those things, those things come from? Right? Okay. So, attachments and also anger. Anger, anger for oneself, anger that you do not, uh, you fall short of expectations and all that. We also have to purify that also with a loving kindness or forgiveness or compassion. Basically with loving kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy and equanimity. And then with these four kinds of supreme attitudes, uh, that uh, emotions that, uh, that the Buddha gave to us, uh, then actually we can pretty well uh, manage our love uh, for ourselves. And we can love without getting hurt. Okay, Many people in the world, they love and they get hurt, and they get hurt, and they get hurt, and they don't dare to love again. But actually, it's not the love that is a problem. It is an attachment, attachment to how they should behave, attachment to how they should say some words, attachment to how they should think, how they should, how they should speak, how they should do. And of course, with the attachment, there comes suffering, right? So, in order to have the kind of a wholesome and pure and a good spiritual well-being of a self-love, then we need to remove, uh, learn to purify and let go of attachments and also anger and all sorts of defilements that are preventing you uh, or forming an obstacle to yourself uh, from loving yourself. Okay? So... Everyone loves themselves, but there are sometimes obstacles to doing it. Yeah? So if we remove the obstacles, then yeah, uh, we will be fine. And yeah? we can love ourselves in a wholesome way and uh, achieve good spiritual well-being. Okay. So this is your dose of dharma for today. I will I will not go too much into uh, purifying the different attachments and anger because that will take uh, a lot of hours of talks. But uh, generally, if you feel that you face an obstacle while loving yourself, look for these two things. 
attachments, whether to ideas, whether to how you should look, think, behave, or results, and also anger. Okay, it can be subtle anger, it can be rejection, it can be avoidance. This kind of mind stays in the mind. Okay, and if you if you can purify this with、uh, Buddha's teachings, then I think it would be very helpful. For one, learn to love themselves. Okay, and it has, well, generally it has to be developed intentionally. Right? Okay, so this is a dose of dharma for today. I wish all of you well, peaceful, and happy, and may the triple gem bless all of us to be able to attain path, fruition, and nibbana as soon as possible. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.